J-J-J, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy is back. I done did it again. Guys, listen. People been asking me, hey Joe, what do you think about WebAssembly? Is it going to replace JavaScript? Hmm, what do I think about that? I would say no. <laughs> like it's not gonna replace JavaScript. If <laughs> you know there's a million different languages that <laughs> were right next to JavaScript and they still couldn't replace it, right? You have stuff like Dart, you have uh, TypeScript, you have, what else? Um, well, you got ES6, which is well, part of JavaScript, if you think about it. But what if like uh, the, the browsers decided to say, hey, we're all gonna switch to TypeScript. Do you think that's gonna happen? I don't think so. Do you think all the browsers are gonna say, hey, we're all gonna switch up to WebAssembly? I don't think so. WebAssembly might be useful for certain things, like, you know, for graphics, you know, maybe for video games, maybe for certain things that you wanna use for processing, or just to have things more efficient. Because everybody knows JavaScript is a clusterfuck. JavaScript, there's a whole bunch of errors. The guy created it in one week. And there's a reason why there's so many errors on it. It's one, it's a fucking language that somebody created in a week. Like you can't, you can't complain about that. But I forgot the other name of. There was a language at the same time that um, JavaScript came out, and basically, it was from Microsoft, and it was JavaScript competition. And Microsoft tried to push it out on Internet Explorer and try to get it out there. I don't know, I don't know the exact name. You guys might be able to look it up on Google and you know, do your Googles, right? So do your Googles and, and look it up. But there was a language that was actually competition for JavaScript and did it win? Nope, it didn't. So to so think that now in 2017, after more than 20, 30 years of the web being out here, right? And so many websites, do you think that there's gonna be another language that's gonna trump, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, trump the the world of the world wide web with you know removing JavaScript for WebAssembly or replacing it? Is that gonna happen? I don't think so, kids. I really don't. You know, I'm actually getting dizzy from going around this whole this whole place. But <laughs> yeah, man. Do I think that's gonna happen? I definitely, I don't think so, guys. At all. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, you know, WebAssembly is something cool. Elm, E-L-M, Elm, it's cool. It's something cool, it's something that seems amazing. You know, it's, it's fun to, to mess around with. But do I think it's gonna replace HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? No, I don't think so, you know. Those are one of those technologies that, you know, all the nerds is going to get excited about. And they're going to be like, oh my God, this language is the best or whatever. But is it going to go into, you know, businesses? I don't think so. Because at the end of the day, it's not up to us developers who, who decide what's going to be popular, what's going to actually make it to the top out of all the languages. It's like me, I love Crystal Lang, but is not gonna make it to the top? I don't know, you know? It, it takes time to find out, right? But when it comes to languages, you know, like WebAssembly and Elm, which I consider experimental languages, do I think they're going to go and replace something like JavaScript? I really don't think so, you know, so don't, <laughs> Don't put all your money in that little basket. That's what I'm gonna say to you. You know, if you're spending a lot of time trying to learn WebAssembly and you think that's gonna get you jobs, which jobs is what's gonna put money in your pocket, man, you're gonna be broke because I I, I really don't think there's gonna be any jobs for WebAssembly. Maybe, you know, in Google, they might want, you know, hey, a freaking WebAssembly developer. But it's like, now you're competing with like the top of the crop 
Meaning like now you're dealing with guys who just graduated from like MIT and and graduated from like, you know, freaking Georgia Tech and all this this great universities, right? Guys who are creating amazing projects. And now you're competing with them to try to get that one job. There's gonna be five, ten jobs in the whole world for WebAssembly. And now you're competing with those guys. You know what I mean? It's like it's like trying to learn a, a programming language that is only useful for uh, rocket science, like, you know, for fucking throwing fucking, uh, how you call that shit, rockets to space. Like, do you guys really think, like, you're going to be able to get those jobs? There's going to be so much competition because there's probably going to be only two to three people in the world who's going to be able to get those jobs, right? So I don't know. WebAssembly, I don't think that they, there's a future there for, you know, regular develop, uh, developers, right? If you want to try something experimental and you want to be cool and, you know, release something on CodePen and, or JS Ben and be like, oh, yeah, look look what I created on WebAssembly. Great. You want to be that guy who gets a, a lot of likes on CodePen? Cool. But is it going to put money in your pocket? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you guys later, man. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. Your boy's back. I done did it again. Damn. <laughs> Guys, listen, you got to have fun with this. This is, you know, a lot of people's going to come here and they're going to be like, oh, my God, he's not the regular developer. I know that. The swag is too real. The sauce is too great. But we got to come in here and just swag it out, kids. All right, guys? Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Bye. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses. They're pretty cheap. They're like $15 each on specials. And just listen, man. Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Wow.